Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Uy, Fer! Nakakuha ka rin ba ng free seeds galing sa Agriculture Department? Oo nga, Nan. Excited na nga ako magtanim eh. Ang dami nang nakuha kong free seeds. Meron akong talong, sili, okra, at ang palaya. Wow! Ako rin ang dami oh. Iniisip ko nga kung saan parte ng aming bakuran ko ito itatanim. Teka, nasaan na ba si Dino? Nauna na yata ang nagtanim sa atin. Oo nga, nasaan na kaya siya? Hmm. Ang tanong, alam mo ba kung paano itanim ang mga yan? Hindi nga eh. May idea ka ba? Balita ko, ipapaliwanag yan ngayon ni Sir Nelson. Oo nga. Kaya halina kayo at manood na tayo ng Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Tara? Let's G! Hello, Fernandino Teens! Welcome to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. I am Sir Nelson, your agriculture teacher for today. Before we start with our discussion, I want you to observe this picture. What did you observe? You may write your answer on the comment box below. If you said that this picture shows different seeds, you are correct. For this episode, our objectives are the following. First, define sowing seed. Second, know how to grow seedlings. And third, determine the steps in sowing seeds 
using different containers and material. Our lesson for today is all about sowing seeds. What is sowing seeds? We have the idea about sowing seeds. Later, we will discuss that further. Let us define some words that we may encounter in our lesson. First word is sowing. Sowing is the process of planting seeds. There are different methods in sowing seeds such as broadcasting, dibbling, drilling, and transplanting. Second word is germination. Germination is the development of the seed into a young plant or seedling. How can we know if the seeds are viable? We can test the germination of the seeds in different ways such as ragdoll method, seed box method, petri dish method, seed trays, plastic cups, and polyethylene bags. Third word is growing media. Growing media are materials that plants grow in. Growing media are designed to achieve high porosity and water retention while providing adequate aeration. Growing media for vegetable seedlings or field transplants in greenhouses contain a variety of soilless ingredients such as peat moss, vermiculite, perlite, shredded coconut husk, or composted materials, plus starter nutrients and a wetting agent. Now, in your own idea, what is sowing seeds? Comment your answers in the comment section. Yes, you got the idea. Sowing seeds is the process of planting the seeds in the soil. Sowing seed is the most important operation in crop production. The seed must be placed at the required depth in moist soil to get the optimum condition for their germination. Too shallow sowing results in thin germination due to inadequate soil moisture at top soil layer. Similarly, the seeds are sown very deep in the soil. The young seedlings may not be able to push their shoots above through thick soil layer. Seeds must be sown at proper depth and should be properly covered with soil to get adequate moisture for its germination. If the intention is to produce seedlings for backyard garden, it is convenient to sow the seeds in seed boxes, plastic cups, fruit juice containers, small polyethylene bags, or germinating trays. However, if you intend to plant in commercial scale, it is logical to sow the seeds in seed beds. Before sowing seeds, it is important to prepare your growing media and materials that you will use. The best soil medium for general nursery purposes is friable loam which is rich in humus with a proper percentage of clay. If friable loam is not available, these are the growing media that can be prepared by mixing the following components. For loam soil, you will mix one part of loam soil, one part of manure or decomposed manure, and one part of decomposed rice hull. And for clay soil, you will combine one part of clay soil, two parts of compost or manure, and one part of decomposed rice hull or seed sand. These soil components are thoroughly mixed together and will be placed in seed boxes, plastic bags, seed trays, germinating trays, or to the seed beds for the production of vegetable seedlings. Here is the video on how to prepare loam soil and clay soil. How to prepare 
growing media for vegetable production. First step, prepare all the tools and soil components needed in preparing growing media for vegetable production. We need one part sheep sand, one part garden soil, one part compost, and one part rice hull. Second step, combine the soil components and mix it thoroughly. You can use shovel or hand trowel in mixing the soil components. Alright, that is the proper way of preparing growing media. Later, you will learn more on how to sterilize the growing media after a commercial break. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Sins TV You are still watching Fernandino Sins TV Season 2. Earlier, you were able to understand the meaning of sowing seeds and learn how to prepare growing media. And now, to ensure the safety of seedlings from soil-borne diseases, the growing media should be sterilized to protect the seedlings from the attack of dumping off which commonly destroy young seedlings in seed boxes or in seed bed. There are several ways of sterilizing the soil, such as burning organic materials on the soil, pouring boiling water on the soil, solarization, biofumigation, and chemical treatment. These methods are preventive measures against soil-borne diseases, and to control the existing diseases in the soil. Here is a demonstration video on how to sterilize growing media. 
how to sterilize growing media for vegetable production using roasting method. Here are the tools and materials needed in sterilizing growing media. We need old and used karahay or kawa in kapangpangan, big spoon or hand trowel, and growing media. Procedure First step, repair all the tools and materials needed. Second step, set the fire and place the karahay on the fire. Third step, fill the karahay with growing media. Fourth step, roast the growing media for 20 to 30 minutes to kill the pathogens, insects, pests, larvae, bacteria, and diseases in the soil. Fifth step, cool down the soil. We do soil sterilization to release the nutrient in the soil and encourage the seed to grow healthy and lessen the population of pathogens that can harm the seeds and seedlings. The video demonstration that you have just watched is another way of sterilizing the growing media. Remember, heat can kill any pathogen in the soil. You can do this at home with the help of your parents or guardian. In your own idea, why do we need to sterilize the growing media or soil? Comment your answers on the comment section. Precisely, we need to sterilize the growing media to kill weed seeds, insects, and numerous soil pathogens. Once you have already prepared your sterilized growing media, the next step is the preparation or choosing of containers where you will sow your seeds. If your intention is to produce seedlings for backyard garden, it is convenient to sow the seeds in seed boxes, plastic cups, fruit juice containers, small polyethylene bags, or seed trays. However, if your intention is to plant in a commercial scale, it is logical to sow the seeds in seed beds. Alright, let us now discuss the step-by-step -step procedure 
in sowing seed. First step, moisten the soil media. You can use water sprinkler or container with holes to moisten the soil media. Second step, sow the seeds in rows or broadcast evenly and thinly. Broadcasting is spreading seeds evenly onto the ground and covering the seeds subsequently with thin layer of soil. This method of sowing is less satisfactory than sowing the seeds in rows a few centimeters apart unless pricking is to be done. Here are some reasons why broadcasting of seeds is not advisable. First, the air circulation between the plants is not sufficient. Second, seedlings dry less quickly and this condition may cause the growth of fungi. Third, weeds are harder to control. And fourth, it is hard to produce stock seedlings because the seeds are not properly covered with soil. Do you know why seeds do not germinate? Here is the explanation. Planting seeds too deep. Seeds may not sprout or the seedling sprouted this week because it becomes too tired from sprouting. Planting seeds too shallow. Seeds dry out quickly and this may cause the young plant to fall over or even dry out because of poor root growth. Third step, cover the seeds with thin layer of fine sufficient enough to cover the seeds. Fourth step, gently press the top layer of the soil. This step will help the seeds to stay in place. Fifth step, water the sown seeds using water sprinkler with fine holes or water hose with fine spray. Use water sprinkler with fine holes to prevent the seeds to be carried away by water. Sixth step, protect the sown seeds from ants. Spraying insecticides will help to drive away the ants. If you sow your seeds in seed boxes, let the legs of the seed boxes stand in cans filled with water and a little petroleum to prevent the ants from reaching the seed boxes. Seven step, place the sown seeds under the shade and provide a temporary shelter. Last and eighth step, regulate watering. Always use water sprinkler with fine holes. Too much or too little of water may prevent germination. Alright, so those are the steps that we need to perform when sowing seeds. Later, I will show you on how to sow seeds in seed trays, seed boxes, seed beds, individual polyethylene bags, and use plastic cups when Fernandino Tins TV Season 2 returns. Stay tuned! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month, nating na temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambena nini, metong karang aktibidades na ng syudad atin ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport, atin ng metong karang proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad ng pamanamuna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagelangan ding eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo kin kay katamong heritage district. Makakayado din kay ni, ding importansya da ding mapay na tradisyon kay ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. 
Balo mi ngayon, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ning COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa ngayon, agkatan ko lang ding bikers tamo, eh dad, 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras, di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni Shuda. Anya naman ka rin mumu ng 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Ingawan nyo mo ba ang ta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya yung heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyakin, na nano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Tint TV And we're back, Fernandino Tints. A while ago, I promised that you will watch the step-by-step -step procedure in sowing seeds in seed beds, seed trays, seed boxes, individual polyethylene bags, and used plastic cups. Watch the video demonstration carefully and remember the steps because this video tutorial will help you on the correct way of sowing seeds at your home garden. Here is the video. How to sow seeds in different containers. Sowing seeds in seed tray. Here are the tools and materials needed. Hand trowel, seed tray, growing media, seeds, and water procedures first step fill the seed tray with growing media Second step, put holes where you will sow your seeds. You can use stick in drilling small holes. Third step, put one seed in each hole and gently cover the seeds with soil. Fourth step, spray water. You can use water sprinkler or container with fine holes. Sowing seeds in seed box. Here are the tools and materials needed. Hand trowel seed box with holes, growing media, seeds and water. Procedure First step, fill the seed box with growing media.
Second step, moisten the growing media by spraying it with water. Third step, sow the seeds using broadcasting method. Fourth step, cover the seeds by sprinkling little amount of growing media. Fifth step, spray it with water. Sowing seeds in plastic cups. Here are the tools and materials needed. Hand trowel, plastic cups with holes, growing media, seeds and water. Procedures First step, fill the plastic cups with growing media. Second step, drill holes using your finger or stick. Third step, put one seed in each hole and gently cover the seeds with soil. Fourth step, spray it with water. Sowing seeds in polyethylene bags. Tools and materials needed are hand trowel, polyethylene bags, growing media, seeds, and water. Procedure First step, fill the polyethylene bags with growing media. Second step, drill holes using your finger or stick. Third step, put one seed in each hole and gently cover the seeds with soil. Fourth step, spray it with water. Sowing seeds in seed bed. First step, moisten the soil by spraying water. Second step, sow the seeds using broadcasting method.
Third step, cover the seeds by sprinkling little amount of growing media. Fourth step, spray it with water using water spray or water sprinkler with fine holes. Okay, that is the end of the video tutorial. I hope you were able to learn the correct steps in sowing seeds, in seed trays, seed boxes, seed beds, individual polyethylene bags, and use plastic cups. We will be having more activities to know if you understood what we had discussed after this short break. Stay tuned! Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving, or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagtabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats, ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face, 
kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede rin mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. A while back, you were able to watch the video tutorial on how to sow seeds in seed trays, seed boxes, seed beds, individual polyethylene bags, and used plastic cups. Now, to sum up all the learnings today, let us have two activities. First activity, you will arrange the jumbled letters in order to form a new word related in our discussion earlier. Second activity, you will arrange the steps in sowing seeds by numbering them 1 to 7. Let us start the first activity. You can write your answers in the comment section. First, jumbled letters. What is your answer? Correct! The answer is seed beds. Second jumbled letters. What is your answer? Great! The answer is seed box. Third jumbled letters. What is your answer? Yes, the answer is polyethylene bags. Fourth jumbled letters. What is your answer? Good, the answer is seed trays. And fifth jumbled letters. What is your answer? Precisely, the answer is used plastic cups. For the second activity, you will arrange the steps in sowing seeds by numbering them 1 to 7. Write your answers in your answer sheets or comment your answers. 
You have one minute to answer the activity. Are you ready? Great! Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. Let us check if you got the correct answers. Letter A, cover the seeds with thin layer of fine soil. What is your answer? Yes, this is the third step in sowing seeds. Letter B, place the sown seeds under the shade. What is your answer? Correct. This is the sixth step in sowing seeds. Letter C. Gently press the top layer of the soil and water the sown seeds. What is your answer? Good. This is the fourth step in sowing seeds. Letter D, moisten the soil media. What is your answer? Great! This is the first step in sowing seeds. Letter E, regulate watering. What is your answer? Right! This is the seventh step in sowing seeds. Letter F. Sow the seeds in rows or broadcast evenly and thinly. What is your answer? You got it! This is the second step in sowing seeds. Letter G, protect the sown seeds from ants. What is your answer? Fantastic! This is the fifth step in sowing seeds. Did you get a perfect score? Wow! You are so smart! I think you are now ready to sow the seeds that you have received from our agriculture department. Maybe you are wondering why there is a need to learn all of this. Let me tell you that as long as we are willing to plant, we will not starve, especially in this pandemic time. Turning your available land area into a mini garden or mini farm would be of great help for your family especially now that we cannot go to market as frequently as before to buy food supplies. If you apply this lesson at home, you will have your own organic harvest of vegetables. I hope, starting tomorrow, you will start sowing the seeds that you have received from the Agriculture Department of Pampanga High School. 
You can ask assistance from your family members. Perhaps Nan and her friends Bert and Dino will be starting to sow their seeds to have their mini garden right away. These are the references that I use in this learning episode. That's all for today. I am Sir Nelson Dungo and see you again for another episode of Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Nice! Ang dami kong natutuhan sa agriculture. Ready ka na bang magtanim ng mga seeds mo, Nan? Naman! Sisimulan ko na sa paghahanda ng growing media. Pouring of hot water ang gagamitin kong paraan upang mamatay ang mga pathogens sa aking lupang gagamitin sa pagpupunla ng aking mga seeds. Wow! Alam na niya kung paano gumawa ng growing media at i-sterilize ito. Dati, basta-basta ka nalang nagtatanim sa lupa ng mga seeds na nakukuha mo sa kinakain mong prutas. Ikaw, Ferk, kaysa inaasar mo ko dyan, gumaya na lang tayo na magsimula ng mini garden o farm sa bahay. Saktong-sakto. Dahil ngayong panahon ng pandemya, kailangan natin kumain ng masustansyang pagkain gaya ng gulay. Pwedeng din na tayo bumili kung may tanim naman tayo sa bahay. Ang galing mo sa sinabi mong yan, Nan. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Simula na natin ang inyong pagtatanim sa inyong bakuran. Kaya naman... Maraming salamat, sir. Kaya naman upang matuto ng mga kaalamang iyong kapakitinabangan tulad ng aralin ngayon, Laging tumutok dito lang sa Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 Kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa angking talino. Yakapin mo ang bagong pag-asa Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama Sa bawat takin, magkaakbay nating lulutasin sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses mo ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang bida Ang mga aral Ay kinintuang atin ng bawat buro Na siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasa